All right, gals, so here it goes. I'm finally shooting my video for the Oh So Fabulous face kit, which is right here. Um, this is a brand new one, so it looks all nice and pretty. It may be my most favorite face kit I have um, created, and I've created quite a few. So I'm super excited about it. Um, a lot of you had ar have already been wearing it. It is so easy to wear. You can wear it very natural, very light, but you can also add a lot more of these darker two colors and wear it in a very dramatic, like beautiful fall uh, winter day. So here we go. I'm gonna start out kind of simple and then I'll add a little bit more to it um, to show you what to do with those bottom two colors. So right now I have my foundation on and I have my concealer on and I am going to add my eye fix. So eye fix is so, so important. And I apply quite a bit of it. So I know sometimes when my clients come in for lessons, um, if they come in for a repeat lesson or just an application, when I do their makeup, they will sometimes comment, oh man, I don't put nearly enough of that on. So don't be afraid when you are applying this eye fix. Really get it in there, cover it quite a bit. If I get it on my little nose area, that's okay. I'll sometimes take it and kind of blend it down in that area. It acts like a highlighter. All right, there you go. So it's on real nice and well. All right, next I am going to actually set that with this top color right here. This is mine that I use every day, so it looks a bit of a mess because it has been loved. All right, I'm gonna use my wash brush. The wash brush is all my brushes are so, so important. Um, it really can make a difference in how you do your makeup. So I'm gonna take this all over color and apply it to my entire eyelid. This is setting that eye fix, just real simple, right like that. It's a pretty all over color that's just gonna, gonna set that so that eye fix doesn't blend, um, not blend, but crease anywhere. All right, next thing I'm going to do is I'm actually gonna do my eyebrows to kind of frame my eyes. So I'm gonna take the spoolie side and brush them up. And you can do this prior to that first eyeshadow color, or you can even do it at the very end of doing your eyes if you'd prefer to do it at that point. I'm gonna take my taupe and use this side of the brush. I'm gonna lightly tap it in there. I'm gonna start at the inner corner Right like that, get a little bit more, and then I'm just gonna blend up. Right like that. So I'm just kind of adding a bit of color in those areas where it needs it. All right, so now my little trick that I love, I'm gonna go back and I'm gonna blend them down. This definitely gives you a more dramatic eye look. And the reason why I brush them down, I go a little bit more, is I can see now the top hairline. So actually where the hair is growing out of the skin and I wanna follow along that. So I finished it and I'm gonna go back and I'm gonna brush up. This gives you a very precise kind of even eyebrow. Sometimes during the day, I don't do the whole brush down technique um, just because I want a little bit less of a brow, but I definitely, if I'm getting dressed for night or want a very polished kind of um, more dramatic look, I do the brush down. They look a little bit darker in the video than they do in real life. All right, so my brows are done. So I have my face framed now. It does, all the colors are more dramatic. Lighting, it's so hard to deal with. All right, so now I'm gonna go back into my face kit and work on, um, work with the colors in here now. Okay, so now I'm going to take my wet dry brush. Everyone should own one of these. It is the best brush ever. So it's a synthetic haired brush that I can use wet or dry. I pretty much use it wet every single time. So I am going to dip this little brush into a glass of water tap it off on a towel. If I'm in my bathroom getting dressed, where I usually am, I just turn my sink on and I tap it at the bottom. All right, I'm gonna go into this second color, just like in all my face kits. That's the next color that I always go into. 
I'm gonna rub my little wet dry brush in there. And now I'm going to take this color, start at my lashes, and blend up to the crease. This is just a very soft neutral all the way up to there. I'm gonna go back and get a little more for this eye. So I really let the color be what's pretty about my eyeshadow. Not necessarily a very dramatic or hard technique. So I have it now on both eyes. I'm gonna go back to my wash brush. This guy is amazing. And I'm gonna blend where the two meet. This just helps soften that little edge a bit and make it look real blended. All right, so now I am gonna go into this bottom color right here. The lighting off. So this bottom color is more of the brown and this has more of that burgundy kind of undertone. I'm gonna go into the brown. Um, typically when I wear this face kit, I pick one or the other. I never really blend the two. Um, you can because they complement each other. Today I actually am because I wanna show you just the brown and then I wanna put that on top of it. Um, but most days I pick one or the other. So here we go, we're gonna pick the brown. I use the same wet dry brush, get it wet, and I'm just gonna take this and I'm gonna start at my lashes again and I'm gonna blend right up on my eye bone. Just right like that, just real simple. I may grab a little more if I want it a little darker, right like that. So now I'm gonna go apply it on the other eye, start at my lashes, and just blend up. Get a little bit more if you want a little more. Right, right like that, super simple. I'm gonna take my wash brush, which is that first brush, and I'm gonna soften where the two colors meet, back and forth, super, super easy. All right, I'm gonna put some eyeliner on now. My go-to eyeliners, I have four of them right now. One is Mythology, that's that brown with a real pretty little gold fleck in it. One is Ninja, that is black that I always wear at night. Um, Cleopatra, I used to wear it all the time. I kind of then stepped away from it and now that it's fall again, I'm back wearing it a bunch. Um, so I'm gonna show you it today. And then this is a new one for me. This one's called Storm and it's a little bit lighter than Ninja. Um, it has more of a smoky kind of gray, so it's maybe not as dramatic for a daytime look. So I typically this fall have been wearing Storm on my waterline and my top line every day and Cleopatra underneath. Some days I'll go with Mythology, um, which is also absolutely beautiful with this face kit. So let's do Storm. It's still this great formula that is a water, um, waterproof matte eyeliner. So it stays really well. Um, it comes off very easily though with a waterproof eye makeup remover or anything. So here you go. I'm gonna take this and I'm gonna wiggle along my waterline. Like I said, I just use it as a replacement for Ninja because it's a little bit softer and more of a smoky kind of gray look. Right like that. And I'm gonna rub along the top water line. Right like that. I'm gonna take it and I'm gonna do my top line. Remember this doesn't have to be perfect because we're gonna blend it out with an eyeshadow. So I'm just going to get it, get it right across there. I may add a little to my corner. Right. right like that. So I have it on there. I'm then going to take Cleopatra, which is this real pretty gold, and I'm going to go right along my bottom lashes. If you've never worn Cleopatra, oh my God, it's beautiful, beautiful. All right, so now I'm gonna go, let's just use my wet dry brush for simplicity purposes. 
that's the one that we wet. I'm actually going to wet it. I have two options here. On the days that I'm only wearing the brown, I would go back to the brown and blend out over the eyeliner. Today, since I'm gonna show you a bit of this color, it looks so dark there, it's a little bit lighter there. I'm gonna go into that color and blend it out. So I wet my wet dry brush, tap it off on a towel. I am going to use the tip of this brush, go right into there, and then I'm just gonna place it right on top of that eyeliner. And it's thicker than it, and I'm gonna blend back and forth. And what this does is it softens the little edge and gives you a very blended look. And then I'm gonna take it and I'm gonna rub over that gold underneath. That way you see the gold, but it's not real bright in gold. And it gives you just a very finished look from the top and the bottom. I'm gonna get my br brush wet again, use the tip of it in that dark color, and I'm just gonna do the other eye now. And notice how I rub along that eyeliner. And then I just kind of blend up, right like that. I'm gonna take it, and I'm gonna go over the gold underneath. So if you see up close, you can kind of see the gold. It's probably hard in the video. Um, but it's no longer a bright gold underneath it. It just kind of softens it and blends it out. All right, if you want to go back to this Old Faithful first brush and kind of soften anywhere that you feel like is too harsh, it's a great time to do that. I'm going to make sure I'm kind of clean underneath and that my concealer is blended out real well. Right like that. I am going to take a nice fluffy brush like this that I'm going to go into my little finishing setting powder here. And I'm going to dust that under my eye to finish off my concealer. It'll keep it in place. It'll also, for some people, keep your mascara from ending up underneath your eye. I've never had much of that issue, but some people do and say that that fixes it. All right, let's put some mascara on now. I'm a two coat mascara girl for sure. Right like that. I probably have. Who knows what I look like doing this. It's always funny for me to go back and watch these videos. My funny faces. a funny one. I probably should have my mirror up higher. Okay. All right. If you're wearing powder, now is time to kind of finish your face with powder. You could have done that before your mascara also. Either way. So I'm going to use my No Shine Loose Powder with my nice big powder brush. I'm going to pick up a little bit on there. And then I always like to go into the cap and really get it into my powder brush real nice and well. And then I'm just going to kind of buff it all over. This is a beautiful little finishing powder, right like that. Gives you a really creamy, kind of pretty finish. It's supposed to help with oil control also, so if you tend to have a little bit oilier skin, it may be something worth trying. All right, so next I am going to do what I consider my contouring, which you should all know me by now. I like to do things very simplistic, very easy. So I'm gonna use my contour palette, which the color up top here should be your pop of pink. This is mine that I use at home. And I really kind of concentrate on these bottom three colors. So you're gonna take it, blend, just blend it. I just dust it through those bottom three. And then I'm gonna start right here, blend up towards my ear. I'm gonna pick up some more right there. 
Some of you may be doing this with a bronzer right now. That is same concept, just a little different tone to it. Bronzers tend to have, and especially mine, a little bit more of an orange undertone. So it gives you kind of that bronzed gold look where this is more of a brown tone. Um, so I actually have been using it a lot more than I've been using the others. And then of course I take it and go right along my neck. It really is amazing how different your face and your makeup can look when you take the time to do that extra little step of that um, contour, right like there, but super simple. We don't need to make it complicated. Okay, let's do some lip. I'm just gonna put on my beige lip stay today. It's super easy, great color for fall. I'm gonna line my lip after. I consider beige to be my winter nude and my nude lipstay to be my summer nude. All right, now I'm gonna take rosewood and I'm gonna lightly line. Right like that. I bet y'all giggle at me in these videos. All right, right like that. Okay, so now I'm gonna go back and I'm gonna do my blush because remember, in Papa Pink World, we do our blush last after our um, lips. Okay, doke, no, here's my blush. I'm gonna use my blush brush, go into it, and I am just going to finish off real lightly Right like that with my blush. Right like that. There's some of my sunlight coming back in, brighten things up. Okay, that's it. There I have finished my face with my Oh So Fabulous Face Kit. So if you have any questions, feel free to ask. Um, and I'd love for you to come in for a lesson if it's something that you feel like you need a little bit more help on, a little bit more work with, but truly they are so, so simple to wear. And I guess one of my biggest things is, is don't be afraid to wear it in a little bit more of a dramatic way. So don't get scared of these darker colors. They are absolutely beautiful on. And chances are you, if you're not used to wearing them, may feel like they're a bit much, but they're not a bit much to anybody else out there. So. Don't be afraid, have fun. I hope you were all loving this face kit if you have it. And if you don't have it already, um, I can get one shipped out to you. All right, thanks gals.